Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the observer design pattern. So let's get started. Now observer design pattern is a part of a behavioral design pattern which will allow us to have a object for that particular object state there might be different subscribers that subscriber will be notified based on there is some change in the state of a particular object okay if it's confusing don't worry we will understand in detail and with code structure as well so let's check this out so suppose there is an object let's take the simple example of a news agency and the different channels right all the different channels may need the different news available okay from the news agency so suppose there is a news agency and there are different channels as well suppose channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 and so on okay so there are different channels available and there is a news agency okay now what is the job of a news agency there is if there is any news available they have to give that news to all the different channels okay and what's the job of the channel they need to ask for the news agency that if there is any news let me know now every time different channel will go to the news agency if there is any news please let me know i need the news okay so sometimes news agency will not be having any news right so they won't be able to give the news so most of the time what will happen is the call from channel 1 to news agency will be void right because they won't be getting any news so all those calls will be wastage of resources right same way happened for the channel 2 and channel 3 as well so what we can do over here is we can have the observer pattern what it will do is for this news agency okay we can have a state okay that means when there is a new news available okay when there is a new news available and alongside that if there is a new news available this particular news agency will have the list of all the channels okay as a subscriber so this particular thing will be acted as a publisher and all this will be acted as a subscriber so this news agency will have the list of all channels channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 and all, so on okay so this particular news agency this object if i tell you in terms of the programming this news agency object should have the capability to add the subscribers and to remove the subscribers as well okay so if there is a new subscriber we can add it if, and if you want to remove any subscriber we can remove that as well so this news agency this object has that capability okay so with that we have added all these different subscribers now whenever there is a change in state whenever there is a new news available what we will do is we will go through all the subscribers okay and we will notify all the subscribers about the new news available so you can see that whenever there is a change in state of a object at that time we are updating the subscribers about that news okay so we are telling that subscriber okay this is the new news available you can whatever you want you can do okay so that's the observer pattern that we define these are the observers okay these are all the observers and this is the observable you can name it as a publisher subscriber or observable or observers okay so this is the simple thing that there is one observable and there are different observers and this observable will have all the observers and for any state change any change in the object okay it will notify all the subscribers about that change and we will call the subscribers update method okay we will see this in detail with the code demo as well so you will get the better understanding okay we will take the same example with the news agency and channel so let me go to the intellij idea so here you can see that i have opened the project that is the observer and you can see i have the channel available okay this channel is nothing but your observer okay that is your subscriber so if you see this is the channel this is your subscribers right so this is your particular subscriber so this channel you can see that i have created the interface okay so this interface can be implemented by the different concrete classes there might be n number of different types of subscribers available right so if all of them are implementing this interface they don't have to use the different methods they can use the same method and we can call all the update methods okay so that's why you can see that i have the interface channel available and there is one method that is the update and this update methods needs to be implemented by the concrete classes so let's take one example this is the news channel this is one of the concrete class okay and here you can see that this news channel is implementing the channel and it has a object that is the news okay so what it will happen is you can see that this update method we have uh, implemented here and it is take, taking the news object here okay and what it is doing is it is setting the values to this news attribute okay this is a simple job of that update method whatever the data has been passed as a news we will assign this value to our local variable that is a news 
okay and we have the getter setters to get the news and set the news simple thing so this is the job of your subscriber now let's take a look at our news agency that is our observable that is our publisher okay so if i go to the news agency here you can see that i have defined the definition as well and i have also defined the references that i have taken from you can share some love as well you can visit the websites okay now this is the news agency this is the class and you can see it has a value called news okay so news agency will also have the news and that news has to be published to the different channels okay that's the point now as i have mentioned you earlier that news agency will also have the list of subscribers which all subscribers i need to notify right so that's why i have the list of channels available okay now i also told you that this news agency will have the capability of adding a subscriber and removing the subscriber as well from the list okay so for that these are the two methods add observer and remove observer you can see that we are taking the channel and adding to the channels list and the same way we are taking the channel and we are removing from the list okay so that's the capability now we need to notify to all the subscriber based on the state change okay so now when there is a state change what we will do we will use using the set news method that is a setter method so whenever a setter method is been called for this particular observable okay what we will do is we'll get the news we will set the news here and after setting the news what we will do is we will go through all the channels available that is all the subscribers available and we will call the channel dot update method this channel dot update method is available here okay this update method and what this update method will do is this update method will update the news in the subscriber okay so now subscriber knows that okay there was a change and update was called okay for the channels method and now that news can be used by the channels to publish or whatever they want to do okay so you can see that channel doesn't have to go each and every time to the news agency to get the news news agency in fact when there is a change in the subject when there is a change in the state of that particular news it will publish all the news to the different channels so you can see that all the channels are observing if there is a change available and we are getting those state changes okay so this is how the observable pattern will work and you can see that it's very simple to implement as well what do you need you need the observable or a publisher and the observers or the subscribers okay so based on that we will have the uh, add observer and remove observer method in our observable to add the different observers and to notify all those observers as well based on the method that we have defined in the interface so this is all about the observer design pattern if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos you can also click on the join button to support my channel as well i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye